didn't play too well. Lendl earned that one. Definitely yep. rose to the difficulties and surpassed them. These great fans of tennis here in England now back from tea and center court jammed to capacity. Well, an early mini break, I see, but Zufo Univich. One, zero. Well, he's into the match now. Beautiful, taking the ball on the right. Look at that. He doesn't temporize a bit. The ball hardly off the court, and he goes for a driving half volley. Second serve and Lendl leaned on it. One four. Howie had trouble with the name, too. He's to be excused. <laughs> they don't get too many Zivojinoviches around here. And apparently David Howie... Crowd reacting. ...doesn't consort with the family in Belgrade, so... giving it everything changing should have been a backhand volley but he wasn't hurt by it because of his quickness and being that quick if you can take it on the forehand it's a good idea three two Lendl. Three, two, let's see. with his two service points will divide those one on this end of the court and then on the other. Very important point for him. He does not want to walk across down to four. And again, that first serve started to fail him here in this tiebreaker. His toss is low. Ooh. Second service. <laughs> Three all as they change ends. Three all. And Bobo to put the ball in play, suddenly went to a three-quarter speed ball. Well, that really illustrated, Bud, didn't it, that how the serve and volley player, how far in front of their body they're making contact, leading them to the net. Oh, he was leaning way out away from the baseline. It's very illustrative. It's out there. He's not foot faulting, but he's headed toward the court. And that was a movement that it took Lendl quite a while to develop. Oh. There's the mini break for Lendl. Four, three, Lendl. Lendl. 
in Yugoslavian. Just consoling himself, I guess. I missed the verb, or I would give you a translation. It reminds me of Ilya Nastasi in 1972 in the final against Stan Smith, just raging to no one in particular in Romanian. Oh, what a return! Great reply by Bobo for all. Oh, oh. Bobo, you can see him turning. He's looking backhand. And Jan Tiriak, his manager, says... <laughs> A little smile. He saw Bobo raise that right fist. And he would be saying to himself, that's a no-brainer. Jan Tiriak says of Bobo, he says, well, Bobo's got everything, but we just have to calm him down a little, and he's still a boy. Again, Zivo Yenovich digging into that worn Center court side, the scoop one for a winner. Five, well, we four. usually call the Australians diggers, but look at the Yugoslav digger. And Lendl is going for everything. The ball just didn't come up. Five all. <laughs> just out. That point, Zivojinovic. It's a second set point. Remember, he had set point at 6-5, 40, 30. And that's when Lendl made three great points and forced this tiebreaker. three for the finals of Wimbledon. Zivo Yinovich, 7-6, seven, 7-5 seven, in the tiebreaker. By seven games to six, one set all. Ivan Lendl and Slobodan Zivo Yinovich. Lendl so close to being two sets up. And Zivo Yinovich having one chance, wasting it at 6-5, and then battling back down a mini break in the tiebreaker. Well, we saw a pair of happy Zs. Zivo Yinovich and his wife Zorica, her first smile. Zivo Yinovich to serve. And Bobo leads it off. Third set. Mrs. Z. Through two sets then. Serve percentage. Almost identical. Winners plus five Zivo Yinovich. Right, Unforced please. errors twice as many by Zivo Yinovich. Aces seven to four. Double folds even. And so was the match. When it seemed Lendl was so much in command that we might see this in three quick ones. Lendl on. Now that's the capriciousness right, of grass court tennis. Yeah couple of bangers one or two points and suddenly the whole thing falls apart for one of them Fifteen love. and Bobo's confidence will soar he began to play just a little more thoughtfully near the end of the second set Thirty love. The first Yugoslav to reach the semifinal since 1967, the left-hander, Nikki Pillage. Bobo says, I didn't watch on TV, I was four. Yeah. 
14. Lando, a good short return. Yes. And his speed. Bobo didn't believe Lando could get it, and he was a little slow in responding. Five pins. The wonderful athlete Yvonne Lendl moves with such quickness, speed, grace. 14, 30. Once more, the sprinter that Lendl has become. One, two, three, four, five, six. And with a change of direction. Six steps, 40-30. But he can't handle that big serve, and Slobodan Zibojinovic, a set apiece, one love. First game, third set. Some uh, feel it is worth an arm and a leg. Oh, Ivan Lendl. Love. Now, Bobo really took his time here. He made the right play. He waited. But Lendl, plastic man. Uh, 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 Lendl hit two lines. Service line and the sideline, 30 love. Well, after a very slow start with Lendl so much in domination, this has really warmed up. Service was good. 40. Overruled by umpire David Howie of the center linesman Barry Roll. There's Howie. So it's an ace. Don't think so much, you know. <laughs> I don't think so much. Did not overrule till Lendl complained. I think that's what bothered Zivojinovic. And he's right. One game apiece, one set apiece here in the semifinals of Wimbledon. Dead even. Third set. First service. Or Specker. The four set winner of Henri LeConte meets the winner of this one. Good interview with uh, Boris Becker, but dreamy. That was a Wimbledon rally. <laughs> well, this Lendl is a man of rare resolve. He wants this title. He made double faulting mistakes to lose the second set, but he's a rock. 15 all. We'll have that interview with Boris Becker, who does have the chance, earning the opportunity to defend his Wimbledon title on Sunday morning after this match. Oh, apparently he thought you were dreamy as well. <laughs> I had a shot from that interview session. Thirteen.
You know, Terry Egg said about Beck that sometimes they have to remind him he isn't as good as he thinks he is. Richard Kaufman called fault a bit One. late. One fault. A nice fault. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobo comes up with the old Artie Wilson line from Laugh-In. Very interesting. Artie Johnson. Artie Johnson. He's a good tennis fan. I know he's good watching team. out there in Forgive, Southern California. Forgive me, Artie. Very interesting. difficult ball to stop volley with all that topspin. Naughty ball. A rare break opportunity. There have been so few in the entire match, so a big chance for Lendl. Oh. There's his answer, the eighth ace. Deuce. Jivojinovich, I don't know if you can see a lot of crazy spin that Lendl put on that ball. And Jivo, who should have gone down the line with it. Another break chance. Ooh, oh. my. He's let a couple go in the match that fell in. Dude. And everyone at center court, including Jivojinovich, holding their breath. Favor. You're right, Dick. Lendl might have made the play otherwise. Lendl was racing to the point and by miss hitting actually overran the overhead, had to reach back for it. Survives two break points against. It's 2-1 in the third. And Lendl. Easy love game for Lendl. Two all. Seven aces for Yvonne. Two games all, third set. Well, as Jan Tyriak said, Bobo has everything. Well, last year he had everything but the furniture. I saw him in Australia at the Australian Open and asked him how things were going. Had he had time to get married? He said, yes, he had. I said, uh, where are you living? He said, well, I've got an apartment alongside of uh, Boris Becker's in Monte Carlo. But he said, I have no furniture. I have no time. I'm moving around. I'll continue this story. It's a little long. <laughs> Fifteen love. So he's in Monte Carlo. So, so there's Tyriac. So I said, somebody told me you were living in Hamburg. He says, well, that's where my brother lives. I have an apartment there. I said, any furniture? No, no time for furniture. So then another guy said, I thought you were living in Boca Raton, Florida. He says, yeah, I have a condominium there, but no furniture, no time. 
So I said, is the wife still involved? Yes, she's in Belgrade. We have a nice apartment. I said, do you have any furniture? Yes, but not paid for. Well, I think it's paid for. <laughs> Now, if both, if Zivojinovic should come through against Boris Becker, Becker said they will practice together before the final, just as they, he said, why should we change? We've been doing the same thing for the last month. Tyriak, ecstatic as ever. I wish he'd calm down. The sinister surface of Tyriak. He's a very wise tennis man. Well, actually, he had touched three of the four semifinalists, Becker, Zvojinovic, and also Henri Leconte. He had him for quite a while. And if... And Lendl, well, actually, all four. All four. If Tyriac would ever write a truthful memoir, if he could publish it, it would be one of the great books. First time he's had a second ball ace. serves Zivojinovic 3-2 in the third a set apiece now Lendl's a little bit in the danger zone this match was all his way he had a set he was coasting Next. now if he gets broken he had Zivojinovic muttering didn't like the balls out of rhythm first serve percentage under 50% All European semifinal. Rare, rare occurrence. Never happened. 14, That's rare. Yeah. That's excluding England as a European. Great country. debate in the press room about that. Are the English Europeans? I got out of it. I... But the point still is that four players from the continent have never been semifinals. That's right. That's right. We got Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia here, and Germany and France were in the other semi. Becker and Leconte. so many years there was always a, an American in there or an Australian South American for the first time in 25 years there is not an American born citizen 
in either of the men's or women's finals. Lendl holds it, 3 all. Three games all, third set. Reminder, two servings of breakfast at Wimbledon tomorrow and Sunday morning, the women's and then the men's championships. 9 a.m. Eastern time, you folks out on the West Coast, 8 o'clock, we'll be serving up the strawberries and cream. We hope you'll join us. Hanuman Likova, Martina Navratilova, tomorrow. The 100th playing of Wimbledon, and the Rochester Tennis Club celebrates its 100th anniversary this year, so they're having a breakfast at Wimbledon second, party. Second. Many of the clubs around the country are. And uh, we're pleased that you'll be sharing part of your holiday weekend with us. I got teary-eyed a little bit. We've been gone for a couple of months when we watched all the wonderful ce celebration with the Statue of Liberty and the presentation made here on British television. How lucky we all are. Oh. Yvonne Lendl. An opening. We're in game seven, so often the critical game in a set, a turning point. Lendl has a chance. Yeah, that wonderful return of service. And Zivo Yinovich with us. Pop-up volley. He's tried that touch volley too much, but it is difficult to volley what Yvonne is firing back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Terrible Whoa. bounce. 15, 40. And again, this is the end where the worst bounces have occurred the last week, including, you'll recall yesterday, that serve at a critical point in the second set, Hanuman Liga, but to Chris Everett Lloyd. He served the backhand side, took a terrible bounce, and shortly thereafter, Monlikova was in the finals. Ooh. A few groans. Lendl indicating was way out. But Joyce Johnson's call stands. Some of the fans didn't agree. <laughs> and that was a surprising play from Bobo, who has been going for his second serve. And Lendl, he put the spin and stayed back. And Lendl just has a good view of it. Bobo fooled him, and maybe Bobo fooled himself. Lendl still with another break chance. Well, that's digging yourself out of a deep hole. Zibo Yinovich, love 40 to deuce. deuce. So that's five break chances for Lendl. The only break points in this set have been for Lendl and unable to convert any of the five.
For the second time in the game, Zivojinovic stayed back on his second service. And for only the second time, if that's the third time in the match, we have a second deuce in a game. One of the longer games of the match. Six thirty London time. We're live from center court. Vantage Lendo. His fourth break chance in this game. The toss is a little low for Bobo. See if he stays back on the second ball. Comes in there with Carson. Lendo breaks and takes the lead in this third set, 4-3. Your problem? Lendl, with the first break of the set, serves at 4-3. Can you give me that ball, please? There's a ball that... 15 left. Bobo asked to have the ball. He's putting it in his pocket. And he won't give it back. They use six balls at a time. Thirty love. And now I've never seen that before. Bobo throws a ball into the stands. You've seen baseball players do that, and the ball boy is going to expect that ball back. And if indeed it's an English fan at the other end, he'll give it back, or she will. Out. Forty love. You know what my Uncle Studley did once at a Cleveland Indians game. Ball player threw him a ball. My Uncle Studley signed it and threw it back. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably not watching this afternoon. He's out shopping. Oh, sure. He only watches breakfast at Wimbledon. Okay, Lendl. Lendl making quick work of that love service game. Five and now it's 3-5. Three three Eight aces That's for it. the number one player in the world. And Zibo Yenovich suddenly looks sleepy-eyed and upset and disinterested. He's been playing on emotion. Now Lendl feels he was quick served. But he moves along. Ten aces. <laughs> now Lendl with a little sneak approach and 15 caught the attention of his opponent who sprayed the shot wide. Bobo is not handling this well. He's gotten very discouraged. After all, it's still a set all. It's a best of five set match. He's oh. Yeah, he's certainly hammering that serve. If you were to rate the top three servers in terms of miles per hour, where would you put Bobo? Right up near the top. Fifteen thirty. But that touch shot hasn't worked the whole match. No, he's overdone that. And uh, he may not have deserved that when Lenda was in winning position. Another good half volley by Zivo Yunovic. It's strange. Some of the fastest servers you were talking about, Dick, aren't necessarily terrific players. One of the fastest ever timed was an Englishman, Mike Sangster, who was just an ordinary player. And 
probably the fastest American ever timed was a fellow named Scott Carnahan. Most uh, folks would say Roscoe Tanner would uh, got the publicity. That's right, because he was winning. A very nice sliced ball by Bobo. be a little tired this is the occasion of his life and he's stopped coming in he appears groggy you yeah, the, the emotional energy and exactly. not necessarily, necessarily the exactly. physical <laughs> break point level and set point. Okay. Well, the double That's fault in the set to Ivan Lendl. It's a different uh, Bobo Zivo Yinovich and 2 1 Lendl. <laughs> Back in 68, Roach was number one in money earned, $63,000. Shlomo Glickstein is 79th uh, last year. That was more than Roach is the top money winner in 68. And ladies and gentlemen, Tony Roach could play the game. He will be inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame at Newport, Rhode Island one week from tomorrow, along with his old double sidekick and Wimbledon champion, John Newcomb. Game Lendl. Lendl seems very excited about matters at center court. I'm not sure about his opponent First here in the fourth set. He's doing. Winners, five more by Lendl, unforced errors. Big Z, 20. Aces, 10 to 9, Zivoyinovich. But that's not enough of an advantage to erase the all-around better play of Lendl in this match. There's another double fault. 15, 30. Well, you mentioned the Hall of Fame, Bud Collins. And kind enough to share with us some of their footage for our features. I wonder when they might include a writer sportscaster someday. Well, they have a couple of writers, a yeah. couple of the great ones, Allison Danzig, Lance Tingay, Al Laney. No Bud Cummins. They let me on the grounds, that's enough. Well, maybe the crowd's reaction will tell Zivo Yinovich that they want him to go. And Zivo shows you that he knows how to be an artist, too, in this game. Ooh. You think this man is trying? Play golf. Left-hander is uh, Yvonne Lendl. Plays some ice hockey. He's a terrific athlete. Don't understand Bobo staying back. Deuce. serve and volley player and that's why he's so tough on grass he really is giving away whatever advantage he might have by hanging on the baseline <laughs> 11 aces Zivo Yinovich. Zivo Yinovich. second to Becker in this Wimbledon championship 
Becker finished with 13 today. Bozivoyanovich holds. One all in the fourth. One game all. Both set. Somehow Bobo has got to get himself pumped up spiritually. He's talking to maybe the Your choice. He's that kind of guy. He, he's a wonderful young man. But whether he's mentally tight enough for this match, we'll find out very shortly. Fifteen love. Yeah, the last two Lendl service games have been love games. In fact, he has won now the last 12 points on his serve. successful both men have been when they get that first serve in and Lendl 88 percent the time has won the point well Ken Flack and Kathy Jordan are in the mixed finals straight sets win that's an all-american combination Might be Yvonne Lendl's middle name this year. He makes the play, and he's ready for the smash that will follow and actually has a play at that, although his shot is beyond the court. A rare time where Zivo Yunovich has actually had the lead in a game on Lendl's serve. So much for that. Ten aces for Lendl. So that particular battle now stands 11 10 Zivo Yunovich. showed you that statistic early that Zivo Yinovich is only 12 and 12 on the year but he's been in a lot of tournaments he's lost in the first round at most of those in fact he only got beyond the first round once that was in Philadelphia when he won two matches so here he's won five maybe uh, it's more than just emotional and mental fatigue maybe he is physically tired as well 40 30. Lendl is tuned, as is Martina Navratilova and all the great players, to play the full course. That was a sarcastic double and potential triple off the wall. Lendl leads 2 1 in the fourth. From such an interesting view. What's the sensation? Almost as if you're on a cloud. Yeah, the other than the fact you can hear the the whine of the engine, the noise of the engine. 
and because you're suspending that little box below the blimp, you have no feeling of, of what's above you. So it's just like you're in this little carriage. I hope we hear from people telling us whether the balls are easy to see, easier to see, now that the court is browning with these new yellow balls. Boy, that forehand of Lendl's were diving over the net, and Zebo Yinovich made a fine volley to win it. First year for the yellow balls at Wimbledon, and we hope it improves visibility. A dozen. 30, 15. Actually, you're still campaigning for the future ball. Yeah, I am. That's one of the few errant returns by Lendl off a serve that he might have handled. A second ball, 40-15, to go two all in the fourth. Lendl leads two sets to one. Zabo Yinovich, much more emotional a player, and his game has reflected that. He has his lows and highs, kind of floats around. Lendl steady as a rock, as you so aptly described him, bud. And now it's Lendl's turn. You have the feeling that Zivo Yinovich's only hope is that he can press Lendl into a tiebreaker. It doesn't appear that Ivan's going to give up one of his own serves. He's an interesting kid. During the quarterfinals of the Australian Open, in which he beat John McEnroe, six love in the fifth, at one point in the match, McEnroe was carrying on as he will do. Zivo went over and sat down in a courtside box and had a drink with some of the patrons, which didn't help Mr. McEnroe's disposition at all. Isn't that a fine volley by Lendl off a scorcher from Zivo Yinovich? John Glaster on the baseline gave a rather deceptive signal. His hand was stretched out and looking as though his palm was parallel to the ground, but it was his out signal. Actually, two palms are more common, but the crowd was a little confused, and it was close. Each player with a dozen aces. And here's Ivo Yinovich. That's the ball he doesn't like. Into hiding. He may be opening a store, throwing these balls out to an accomplice. Game then, Big service game again for Lendl, winning at love, and we'll be back to Wimbledon, the semifinals, after these words Three from games, your... Two and too much short stuff from Zivo, as you'll see. Lendl, he anticipates perfectly. And the it's call called out. is out. Well, say what they will about Lendl, and he has his many critics, but he has been impressive to me throughout this championship. The way he's handled 
big servers, the way he is moved on court, all out play. He's ungiving. Good. Zito Linovic has really worked the lines in this game. Now there seems a sudden return of interest. No way would he have watched that one drop in the court. He'd have been back there making a play, and he's I, made plays on tougher shots. I think without actually knowing that Bobo's trying to conserve himself. He's had a 40-love point there. Okay, don't chase it. Rely on your serve. And he's staying back more than he probably should and still winning his serve. And he wins the game anyway. So it's three all in the fourth. Wimbledon. And winning the match. So we've had four players in the two matches, and of all the points, over 50% with winner are winners. 13th ace for Lindell. Make that 14. 13 love. Cyclops. And Rich Kaufman is embarrassed. There's the culprit. This far in. Then turn the machine off because I don't want to play every point three times. And Lendl is correct. Where's service? Lendl is absolutely correct. If the machine is not going to respond properly, turn it off. Rich Kaufman on the line. And I think they ought to junk the machines anyway. Because you see umpires overruling them, linesmen overruling them. Tennis is not made for machinery. 30 love. Would you like to trip the light fantastic with Ivan Lendl? Mm. The old soft sneaker shoe. That's one of the great double faults. <laughs> well, at least they're good ones. Boy, can I identify with that. Fourth for Lendl. Please, there it goes. <laughs> he got an outside pitch and went with it. <laughs> Hit that lady in the first row. Well, she didn't feel too well, but she did protect herself. She's ready again. <laughs> there was once a Hungarian named Bella Kromali who on a serve hit the ball out of the stadium, hit it on top of the racket, and that was the greatest fault in the history of this court. Well, it was a double fault, and then another that gave Zivoljinovic a chance to break Lendl at 6-5, and did break him at 5-all in the second set. Eventually, that one going into a tiebreaker, won by Zivoljinovic, and now a double fault, and a great return, and that's 40-30. Extra error in an inning. Now that usually opens the gate. Let's see if Zivoljinovic can take advantage. Way long. Zivo in tight. How tightly to the baseline, Jivo Jinovic handled that serve. Look at him inside the baseline, catching it on the rise. And now, Lendl helpless, he'll fall and must watch in anguish. 
from 40 Love. Nate! service. is missing the last this game last few serves he's really been long whoops advantage Lendl in case you're just joining us Boris Becker in four sets defeated Henri Leconte in the other semifinal match the defending champion from Germany waiting for the outcome of this one Yvonne Lendl leading two sets to one. We're at three all. Advantage Lendl in the fourth. Lendl has never been in a Wimbledon final. And a Yugoslavian has never won this championship. Well, there have been so many love games on serve for Lendl where he just has breezed through his games that for Zivo Yinovic to have even a chance and he's had a couple of deuces here in this game. He knows that there won't be many like it. So this is the opportunity. Long again. Where he is. Boy! And he gets the net cord winner. And he's decided to gamble on his return way inside the baseline as Bobo and even gets a big swing. It's the first break point of this fourth set. And the first for. Zivojinovic since back in the second set. Four oh. good juice. Oh, an overrule, and Bobo is not going to like it. Juice. Oh, that is a tough call. That is really difficult to accept, and even the British fans, you don't hear this kind of rumble very it's, often. It's a it's not the thing to do for this umpire. Why do you have lines people otherwise? Oh, look at Zeeva Yinovich saying, you play it then. Oh, he's not good. Well, this isn't uh, going to endear him to anyone either. Well, shades of Boca Raton when Connors, against the very same Lendl, refused to go on, and finally they counted him out on the clock. Okay. Wife Zoritza. And you see someone up there saying, come on, let's go. Uh, in his camp, that want him to play. Can you please, can you no violation of the day of game warning. A warning. The umpire has no choice but to do this. Here comes... Ken Farrar on the right, the supervisor, with the Wimbledon referee, Alan Mills. They don't want him to walk out. With men hitting the ball as hard as these two are, and for a chair umpire to overrule, and it's, of course, the second that it's gone against Zivo Yinovic, and he is undoubtedly remembering the first. Please, Phil. Of course he's going to play. So that goes as an ace. But a controversial manner in which uh, Lendl has erased a break point against. Juice. Yeah, from that angle, tough to tell. Looked pretty good, didn't it? Hard to tell. 
the linesman Guy Stevenson. Let's see if we can see his arm. And then he hears the bad news. Jan Kiriak, the manager, Azivo Yinovic, a great gamesman himself, but he wouldn't have walked out on the match, and Bobo won't either. So it's three all and deuce. And a code violation warning against Zivo Yinovic for exceeding 30 seconds and refusing to play. Next morning costs him a point. point. And the next, the game, and the last, the disqualification. I don't think he's going to have another. But you can feel for him in such a tight match. The umpire really has no business overruling with a fresh line crew out here on a close call. Now, this is like a baseball or a football crowd getting on the officials. You don't see this often at center court. And, here at Wimbledon. and when I say he has no right to overrule, I'm wrong there. He has every right to overrule, but he shouldn't on a close call. Please be quiet. 15th ace goes yep. for Lendl. for Zivo Yinovich. So back to back. A call from the chair umpire and then off the tape. Survives a break point in controversy. Leads 4-3 in the fourth. And now a fourth set. They could be aimed for a tiebreaker here in against Evil Yinovich. 15 0 And Lendl, who says his knees still hurt, but he's Offering it not as an excuse. Says it's painful, but I'm playing and it's okay. We'll hear the feelings of the defending champion, Boris Becker, at the conclusion of this match. Women's doubles action for you and our first edition. Peter Ustinov hosting the series on British royalty and this marvelous game of tennis. And there, another regal ace, 13 for the 22 year old Yugoslavian. Point away from four all in the fourth.
game for Yvonne Lendl. 5-4, the many moves. The pressure of a semi-finalist. On serve, 4-5. The five women who have won the triple here at Wimbledon, Alice Marble, Suzanne Langland, Billy Jean, Louise Bruff, and Doris Hart. Did Hart do it? I think she did. You are a well-dressed encyclopedia. And Zivo Yinovich answers Lendl's love game with one of his own. Five all in the four. So Martina and the Bratilova trying to join that select five company tomorrow and Sunday. First up will be the ladies. Final tomorrow, breakfast at Wimbledon. Anna Monlikova, the number three seed. Winner of the U.S. Open against Martina, and then she'll play doubles and mixed doubles on Sunday. Five all. Two and a half hours, this semifinal match. 7.20 in the evening, live from London. Now let's see where Bobo stands for the second ball. He's been trying to take it inside the baseline. on the baseline, but the depth of shot by Lendl forced the spray wide. Well, we haven't had a point against serve in the last three games. Anyway, another love game for him. Zivo Yunovich serving to stay in the match. Feature royalty in the game of tennis. He'll be following the first edition. But now, two men trying to become the king of this Wimbledon championship. Zivo Yunovich serving to force a tiebreaker in the fourth set. That's his 15th ace. 16. Love. That's 14 straight points won by the server. Lots of aces. <laughs> and finally a point for the man on return, 30-15. 
Zivo Yinovich won the second set in a tiebreaker 7-4. And trying to get another opportunity. talk about Lendl's forehand, but but he's shown some backhands that are truly remarkable. Point away from the tiebreaker. Where Lendl doesn't want to go. He's a chance for a return here. He'd like to get to deuce and finish it. Nope. That's all. In the second set tiebreaker, Lendl lost the first point, an early mini break for Zivoljinovic, but then he lost in the second point. Lendl was up a mini break at 4-3 and serving, and lost the next point at 4-0, then Zivoljinovic won it eventually 7-5. 7-5 in the first tiebreaker, second set. What a time to come up with that return. And Bobo, here's your wake-up call. One, zero, zero, universe. <laughs> well, he's six foot, six inches tall and over 200 pounds. And all of it was behind that backhand return. <laughs> Tiebreakers are really tough on umpire David Howie. Because he has to mention Zivo Yinovich's name every time he's in the lead. He is to be pitied. Must points for Ivan Lendl here. What? Again, they've only met once before. You're going to Indianapolis on clay, and Lendl won that 6 4 6 love. But his opponent has put some pressure on him. Yeah. And a double fault. Four, zero, zero, universe. His sixth of the match. He's glaring at the fans across the way from our location as if someone yelled. Zivo Yinovich up a couple of mini breaks. 4-1 in this fourth set tiebreaker. Three points from a fifth set. And a chance at a final against Boris Becker. Well, change ends. The 
This is Zivo Yanovich. Watching her husband now. Two points from the fifth set. Right, please. Coach Roach, Tony Roach, Lendl's corner man. Well, in unison, this huge crowd at Senate Court cheering for poetic justice. On a critical point earlier, it was Lendl that was so served on the net court. And... 6-1 oh. A dribble. Zivo Yenovich winning the two tiebreakers, 7-5 in the second, and then seven points to one in the fourth. And showed signs of quitting the match. He at really one did. Stage. He sat down and said, you play to the umpire. Boom. It's been a bobo crowd lately, but you have to like a man who plays a point the way Lendl does this, with straining, running, and bobo is not quite sure. Is it down the line, cross court? Doesn't matter. Best service. Yeah, Lendl knows well that if he could break Zivo Yinovich to open this fifth set, it might take some of that crowd away and, and the momentum that bobo must be enjoying. They were on their feet for him after that fourth set. That one hasn't worked often. No. 40, 30. If you're from Belgrade, you're getting tired of seeing this one. But somehow he does it perfectly this time. For 40, 30. First service. He may destroy this net before it's over. And he destroyed John McEnroe in the fifth set in the Australian last December. Oh. It was a love got, game, wasn't it? It's a love set. A love set yeah, it was. He's got the Lions people jumping in fear. Bobo, what do you think about it, Bobo? Why, what, maybe, uh-oh. And it landed halfway up on the net. Deuce. Indecision. In his five previous matches, Zivo Yinovich, his opponents, their average ranking was 131. The highest was uh, Krishnan at 41. And here he is playing the number one seed, the number one player in the world for a chance at the Wimbledon title on Sunday. In some respects, he's more of a sleeper than Becker was last year. Becker had won Queens after all. Sixth double fold. And in fact, uh, in beating Johan Creek in that Queens tournament, Creek was the one who first said, Watch out, this guy can win Wimbledon. I'm serious. Yeah, he Becker did. 
No one has said that about Zivo Yunovic. Not even his wife. Oh, beautiful return winner by Lendl. And he has that break point here in the first game of the fifth set. And you wonder why Bobo doesn't follow a serve like that to the net. A bear of a man and a mighty growl as he has served his way back to Deuce. Becker in winning in four sets over LeCant served up 13 earlier. Yeah. holds to open the fifth set. Here it is. Very restrained playing by Givo. A chip return. And now he waits for Ivan to commit himself right and goes inside out. And Ivan Lendl finding himself in the same situation he had his quarterfinal opponent Tim Mayotte in. Serving second all the time, playing catch up in a fifth and decisive set. About 15. These are two power servers. Zivo Yunovich may be a bit stronger, although the ace count is almost identical. Lendl, the better player in court coverage and movement, and perhaps even the better shot maker. But Zivo Yunovich, whenever he's been able to hold a service, which has been in the two sets, the second and fourth, and to force the tiebreaker, has been able to win those sets. Lendl is the fitter, the more experienced, every edge except he faces a giant smoldering and at times on fire. And with a crowd that is rooting for that giant. grass court play. Just block the ball, a little slice. <laughs> oh, come on, first serve. So quiet in this tennis cathedral. You hear that to the top row. Reverberating. Cleverly played by Bobo for a break point. Now, Lendl had a chance to break in the opening game of this fifth set, but Zivojinovic came back with some big serves to close out the game. Now it's Zivojinovic who has a chance to take the lead to love. 30-40. A tough time getting the ball back, but he had no play on the volley that came. But that was an effort we didn't see deep in the third no, set. No, it's the Bobo Bolero. Yeah, 
Nazi Bojinovic now can tee off on a second serve. Backhand to start the tiebreaker, that four set, that vicious return. That's one that you can still hear. First of it. Lendl, who has lost only three times since last summer when he won the U.S. Open, three since then. His last to Yannick Noah, Forest Hills. He's riding an 18 match winning streak. Zivo Yunovich, on the other hand, came into this championship with a 1986 record of seven wins and 12 match losses. Well, this would be his longest winning streak, five. There is the current record of these championships. Becker with 13 in his match, 91. Zivo Yunovich second with 84. 17 of those against Lendl today. Getting a little dark now as we move towards 8 o'clock in London. Lendl and Mayotte finished at 8.28 two days ago. And it was difficult visibility. And they were playing on court one, which is a more open court. There it is, 7.45. And they have played nearly three hours. Love 15. Lando, see him shifting his grip to the backhand. And when the big Z goes down, they can feel the rumble in Wales. It's just like his pal Boris. If they were to be in the final together, you'd think it was a tumbling act. Ball is out, and Lendl argues. This ball was right on the line. Stevenson, linesman in on another tough call. He called them both out. He was overruled on one, which led to Zivojinovic's sit-down strike. Now let's see if we can tell. Well. Trouble with tennis and television on those replays. They always look like they're good. match when you wondered if the returner would ever get a point. So many love service games and suddenly here in the fifth. First game, Zivo Yinovic had his problems. Lendl was sitting on a break point. Zivo Yinovic had a chance in the second game. 30 all in the third. Neither man getting that first serve in. Ooh. There's a break point. So there's been a break chance in each of the three games. 30, 40.
You know, they throw a lot of statistics at fans in all sports. Boy, one has really been true to the course of this match today, and that's first serve percentage. Wesley <laughs> goes for serves, 18 aces. Sixty percent Lendl, fifty-five percent Zibojanovic, but at times that's dropped down in the forties for Bobo, but not in the last three. And an angry Lendl accepts the fact it's two-one against. Decisive fifth set, one-two. Lendl serves. He's requested the chair umpire to announce, please, no flash photography. Look at that statistic. Number one in the world against a man in the thirties in the. Computer ranking. All the play here at Wimbledon, juniors, plate, doubles has been completed on the 17 courts. It's all right here at center court. 15 left. And more difficult for all to get a good look, including the lines men. There'll be no tiebreaker if this should go six all. They'll play it out. You have the possibility of this match not finishing. Wouldn't that be dramatic? To sleep on this one. Each man with 18 aces. A difficult bounce of a big serve. Bobo's at the north end, which has been bouncing better. And a lot of hitters know how he felt there. In a way, it's a shame now that this comes down to stabbing at the ball in the gloaming. Okay. And a love game for Lendl. It's two all. Two games all. Final set. There is rain in the forecast, and we understand it is heading in from the Atlantic Ocean, coming in from the west. And in fact, the rather frightening report for tomorrow was massive rain showers. We haven't had any precipitation in almost two weeks. of July tennis fireworks at center court. Lendl and Zibo Yinovich. One mistake could make the difference here. <laughs> Couldn't even see that ball. From our location, you could just hear it. Well, these are men of superior eyesight, and they'll need it. <laughs> Off the line. Lendl says no. He's furious. Martin Rigoli says it's good. And David Howie in the chair, who hasn't always agreed. He made one overrule today, and it nearly cost him a player named Zivo Yinovich, who sat down and refused to play for a long while. 19. By set, you can see Lendl winning the odd sets, 
first and thirds, even in if it's the second and fourth. It's a lot of numbers to try to assimilate. Let's see. See, Zivojinovic, 42% lost. Third set, 47% lost. Up in the 60s, watch out. And he's serving well here in the fifth. Blind man's buff now. Superlative on the parts of both men. A fine return. Givo struggling to get back into position. 40-15. Givo Yinovich on serve. Maintains the lead. 3-2. We'll be back after these words from your local station. Right there. This is starting to remind me of another Grand Slam tournament semifinal. Semifinals, U.S. Open, Forest Hills, 1973. Our colleague Stan Smith against Jan Kodish, also a Czechoslovak. Could barely see when it finished. Kodish won it. No lights. At center court, Wimbledon. They've talked about that, but uh, that's blasphemy. But at one time, so was the yellow ball. True. And that may be helping more than just the television viewer now, the yellow ball. The night play on grass is extremely difficult. The grass is awfully slick. Don't know who Bobo was addressing. He's right below the royal box. Princess Michael? Perhaps. He's got good taste. 14. Uh, Lindell held in his last service game at Love, and he's at 40 Love. Here to go three all. Bobo changes rackets. Perhaps a change in string tension to help him react better to these balls that are now hurtling out of the dusk. Game Lindell. Easily, three all. The 100th Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Championship. Exactly eight o'clock London time. This match three hours, 12 minutes old. Well, Lendl says, if you won't take the net, I will. Love 15. He's questioning the royal box, says, what are they doing up there? There is a television set up there. Whether they're listening to it, I do not know. time to save your best tournament, Wimbledon. He struggled most of this year. <laughs> Tougher than it looked, especially in the darkness and under this pressure. 13, 15. And he said after beating Krishnan in the quarterfinals and referring to his first round victory last year over Mats Bilander and then losing in the second round, he said, I think I'm finding it is better to play better later in the tournament than in the beginning. First, you have to get a chance to play later. But he's a classic example of why there should be a separate seating process for the surface grass versus hard court versus clay. Double fault. 30 all. 
That's seven to go against his 19 aces. Every point so critical now. And a missed for service. Ooh, two miss hits. And Leno gets the point and with it a break. A great chance to take the lead here in the fifth. You're not hearing clean sounds here. A clunk, a clunk. And then. So I thought of a ball into an open court. Well, Lendl's had a chance in every Zebo Yunovich service game. And he's been able to race the previous. But again, the first serve isn't there. The lead 4 3 in the fifth. Final date with Boris Becker on Sunday. Ooh, that hurt. She Bobo whammy himself on the head with the racket there. That's not correct. Lindell no. was broken no. once in the second game. It broke right back, and then we had the tiebreaker. He has won 12 consecutive points on his serve in this fifth set. Gee, that looked like a double fault. Looked like a football as well. Bobo thought so, but not Leon Lip from Dallas, a good official on the service line. Five pays. There's Malcolm Huntington on the baseline. Ooh. Pressure on Bobo Zibojinovic to hold his serve and force Lendl to win it on his. Lendl has never been in a Wimbledon final. Two times the French champion, won in Paris a month ago, and the U.S. Open last summer. But never at Wimbledon. Lendl now is going within himself, thinking one last game to serve it out. One last game. He'll try to hit good shots if he can, but it's the next game. However, he'll take it if the shots come his way this game because you don't want to serve that last game.
14-15. Wonderful. Slobodan Zibuljinovic will get a rub down of that shoulder like a pitcher after a hard nine innings. This is the 176th serve of the match. And he holds Mendel with a chance for the finals when we return. London Time Live, Tony Roach. Samantha Frankel, the girlfriend of Yvonne Lendl, watched Lendl serving for the finals. So the Z is down to Z. This match has run the alphabet. Unless. Thirty love. doing everything he had to do. Well, he earned that double match. He sure did. 40-15. Five plates. Two. Five plates, isn't it? Wimbledon Championship will feature the number one player in the world in five wonderful sets covering three and a half hours. The world's number one has defeated the long shot from Yugoslavia with the long name Zivo Yinovich. But now the whole world knows this delightful 22-year-old. 6-4 in the fifth. It'll be Ivan Lendl and Boris Becker and will meet the defending champion in a moment. Have to beat the number one player in the world to pick up his second title as an 18-year-old. And now let's go to Bud Collins. Boris, have you ever played a better match? Uh, I have to think back a long time ago, I would say. Uh, I think over four sets, not losing your head once, uh, I think would be maybe the best. More than half your points were on winners. You made very few unforced errors. Everybody seemed to think that you would come into Wimbledon to defend your title. There would be second-year nerves and jitters. Have you felt any at all? Well, uh, before the tournament, I would say, I, was, I don't know wh where I was, and I was playing quite decent, but not winning every tournament I played. And, and uh, you know, so I didn't know wh where I was. And 
and I was really glad the tournament started. I, I could uh, finally play on the center court, and you know, once I was on the center court, I, I had a different feeling in myself, and I said, uh, I, I did it here last year, my biggest success on this court. I have to do it again. You have to do it again. Do you feel as though this is Boris's backyard, this plot of grass? <laughs> um, uh, Connor played more times than I on the center court, but uh, I didn't lose a match yet, and hopefully it stays this way. It appears that you'll go against Ivan Lendl, the number one player in the world. Can you knock him off? Well, it's a very prestige match, I would say, because uh, I was uh, lucky to beat him this year. I was uh, here only lost twice this year, and I was one of his losses. And uh, I'm the defending champion. I won the. I won the last year the title here, and so it's very prestigious, I would say. What comes you over you on that court? You seem to react to the bad bounces, to the slippery conditions, as though nothing really uh, bothered you, nothing mattered. What, uh, what comes over you, Boris? Well, uh, you know, it's difficult to describe. Uh, really, when, I, when the first time I stepped on this court, like in my first match against uh, Bengo Chea, I don't know, somehow a strange feeling came up to my knees and to my head, and some, suddenly I was a different person. <laughs> Magic. Maybe. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> the glowing smile of the champion Boris Becker against the glower of the number one from Czechoslovakia, Ivan When you're in the fifth set, and it's getting dark, and you don't know what's going to happen, do you sometimes castigate yourself and say, I've only lost my serve once, what am I doing here? Yeah, it was, uh, it was difficult to swallow the fact that uh, I lost my serve once and I broke him five times and uh, it's two sets all. But, uh, but I said to myself, you know, keep working, keep trying hard, keep playing, don't worry about anything, you know, uh, you have worked so hard, don't throw it away on uh, silly two minutes or something like that, just keep playing and uh, concentrating. That's the most important thing. And you didn't. Every match now, Matt Anger, Tim Mayotte, and now Zivojinovic, a drama. <laughs> Have you felt Ivan Lendl getting better with each match on grass? Uh, you know, one thought which was creeping into my mind today is uh, you had a match like this two days ago and you won it. You can do it again. <laughs> so that helped. And uh, I think that's how you get better, that your confidence is good. You're where you want to be. Are you satisfied now? Uh, not at all. You know, uh, I'm very happy I'm in the finals. I'm very excited about the match today, but uh, I came here to try to win it. And uh, unless I will do it, uh, I, will never, I, will, I will not be satisfied 100%. I mean, no, no question about it. Even if I lose, I had a great Wimbledon. But I would love to win it, and that's my goal. Can you win it? I hope so. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you. Ivan Lendl in the final match point and faster than you can say Slobodan Zivojinovic, 6-4 in the fifth. He is in the Moscow to do set route.